Hello, this is John Mark. We're going to go ahead and uh, actually just go ahead and show you the process of taking at least one of these mowers apart because they the same the process is the same for both of them. But uh, there's no point in showing both of them. Once you know how to do one, you can do either one of them. Mm hmm. We take the 300 pound counterweight off first usually, which you don't have to do this in any order. Um, we use the bolts from Grasshopper. Uh, the nut actually tightens up without having a, uh, they having a lock washer or nothing, which is nice, which we got some more ordered that actually come without a lock washer at all. That's the ones we like, which I've got one right here. I'll show you, but it's rusted. Um, that's what we're wanting to, wanting to keep though is the good ones. See how easy that was to take off? Take it off basically almost with one hand. But this is a rusted one, but I'm getting some new ones. Like I said, I'm getting some new ones ordered, but you can see the difference. You know, it's got a bigger head on it where you ain't got to have a uh, washer or nothing. And this one's got a lock washer and it's just more to keep up with. So the less parts you got to keep up with, the better. And we have to do this every time we have to use a bagging system. I wish there was an easier way, but there's really not that I know of. If anybody knows of one, let me know. Oh. And like I said, this, this counterweight's 300 pounds. So it's uh it's pretty heavy. I usually don't even try to move it all at once. I just move half of it at a time. It ain't too bad sliding it around, but it'd be rough trying to pick it all up at once. And that's the first part. The second part. taking the hose off. I usually take it off for a second. If I can find my Phillips head screwdriver. Well, I'm going to stand back more and stuff. We just, it's pretty simple right here, pretty self explanatory when it comes to this. But there's our hose. Then we go ahead and take the vacuum part off, which is connected to your PTO. So when you turn your PTO on to engage the blades, you have a belt right here. Can you see that, Marlena? No. Can you see that belt? Yeah, I'll come closer. 
There's a belt that goes on to your PTO. It's a, just another spindle on top. It goes on just like that. And when you turn your blades on, this belt moves too. All this comes on and you get it, you have inside another, another, um, like a fan that chops everything up and it goes through and goes up the hose and fills this up. And it takes a little while to fill that up, which is pretty awesome because you don't even have to get off your mower to dump this thing. All you do is just raise this. And you can sit down while you're sitting down and raise and just tilt that back and it dumps everything out. So I do love that part about it. But this part is aggravating. See, we take our belt off, and boom, that's it. And there's a pin, let me lower the deck. There's a pin that this goes into, and you'll see it once I get it out. If I get it out. Now that pin goes in that hole right there. And it's dirty, obviously. But uh, we just got through using it today on a six acre property. step is to take the bagging system off which we're going to back up and put it on some pallets right here self-explanatory stuff you got two carter pins that hold it in right here and right here and you just raise this up you got another pin thing that holds that on there and it's the same thing with the other side and then the whole thing just comes down it and that's how we do it so when we want to put it back together we just pull right back here on these pallets and then tilt it up and get it on these two spots right here this one and this one and use one of these on each side plus a carter pin that holds that holds it right here the pin goes in so it can't come up and you got another pin that holds right here. So it, it, it won't go anywhere. I'm gonna have to look into some waterproof stuff because I want a grasshopper, but that looks like it'd be waterproof, but it's not. 
it is not waterproof. But that concludes this video. Uh, we appreciate it. Like, subscribe, and we'll catch you in the next one.